Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a new series that I wanted to create on my channel. Um, I'm going to go through all of my patterns on the shopping block and just see if I actually need them in my collection. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the palette. So I'm going to start with these two today and I'm going to go through them and dupe them out with other palettes in my collection, pull out similar palettes to see like how many shades overlap and also to use my singles to see if I can completely dupe them out. So that's going to be the video for today. I'm going to do the soft glam palette as well as the culture palette from Anastasia today. Both of these palettes are on my shopping block. So yeah, I'm going to go through them and see how I can dupe them out. So I'm going to start with soft glam. But before I do that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So here we have the palette and I have swatched out the whole palette for reference and um, I'm hoping this is all in frame and that you can see it clearly so we have the lightest shades here to the darkest shade going in the order of the palette so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling out the first palette and compare so first up the comparison we have here is the sashimi city palette from Kaleidos so as you can see there's obviously only six shades in this palette but I have matched them with the closest shade in the uh, soft glam palette and as you can see a lot of the shades are quite similar this one here is definitely more warm than this one here, but they are they are similar vibes, I guess. Um, this one here is more sparkly than this one, but again, similar vibes. Same with these two here. And I would say the other two shades are basically spot on. So that is the first comparison. The next palette we have is the Biba palette from Natasha Nona. And as you can see, there's a lot of overlapping shades. I would say most of these shades are spot on. This one is slightly lighter than this one. This one is slightly more rose tone than this one. Um, obviously, there's no mauve tone like this in there. And um, this kind of bronzy shade is definitely deeper than the one in the soft glam. Same with this, this like lacking the rosy tone. So those are the main things that I feel like are lacking. Um, this one here is slightly deeper and like slightly more. I guess this one is a rosier tone than this one here. And then this one is lighter than the shade, and this one is deeper than the shade. But overall. I would say these are very, very similar vibes, especially on this end here. I feel like there's basically not much difference at all. So yeah, definitely a lot of overlap here. Um, and it's starting to make me realize that I maybe not need the soft glam anymore because obviously the Beaver palette is really, really high quality. Next up, we have the Viseart Paris Edit palette. And also don't mind that this watch is getting a bit messier. I'm used to doing this as science anyway, and obviously I'm wiping off swatches as I go. But this palette here definitely does have those kind of mauve tones that I talked about. These two aren't exact. These two are pretty similar, to be honest. Same with these. This one is definitely more cool tone than this shade here. But again, there is a lot of overlap. And I feel like this palette together with the Bieber palette has most of the soft glam covered. Here, the soft glam palette is compared to the Kali Bible palette. Again, not too much overlap, but there's definitely a few shades. I would say this is probably the most different so far, different undertones, but again, there is a couple overlapping shades. So let's go for a couple palettes that I wanted to compare originally, but I feel like are too different. The first one is this one here, which is the California Coast palette from Sydney Grace. They are, um, I mean, there's similarities for sure. This one is definitely more, like, has those rosy tones, but I feel like overall this one is way more rosier. And I feel like the only shades that would really be similar are, like, these rosy tones. The rest is very, very different. Same with this one here. I mean, yes, there are some similar shades, like the rosy tones. There's like a gold as well, but the gold is different. And um, the mauve tone, um, and then obviously like the browns. But again, I feel like these are different enough that I'm going to compare them. Same with the sultry. Um, the sultry is way more cool tone than this one is. Obviously, there's still a black. There's like a transition shade that's similar to this, but it's definitely more cool toned. This one has more grays, which this one doesn't have. Um, so although there are some shapes in the shades, I feel like they are different enough. This one here is interesting. This is the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 1. I feel like this one would be quite different, but looking at them, they are quite similar. They have definitely some similar shades. Again, the kind of more mauve tones. Um, then, I mean, this is a gold, pink to gold, which I guess would kind of fit the gold, but not quite. Um, there's a deep brown. So there is a lot of similarities in here. Uh, I mean, actually, to be fair, this one would probably fit the gold better. But again, I'm not going to swatch them out because I feel like the warm tones in this palette wouldn't be covered by this palette. And I've already covered this yard, which basically make this palette redundant. So, you know, even though I'm not swatching it out, you can definitely see the similarities. So this is another one that's quite similar to the rosy tones, especially. 
Then we have the bronze reduction, which I originally thought would be more similar, but I feel like this one has more differences. The mats are definitely deeper than in this one here and more warm toned. Um, there's no red, obviously. The rose gold, I guess, would cover the rose pink shade. But yeah, there's definitely more differences between these two than there was between this one and the Divine Rose one. We have this one here as well, which is the Red Dragon palette from Odin's Eye. This one has that like warm toned kind of matte here. Um, this one is definitely has a greener undertone in this palette here. And it has like a peach, but it's different depths. So in this one, the main, like closest shades are probably like this one here. And then this one, I guess, is similar to Cypress Umber. And this one is maybe similar to Rustic. But again, all the differences here. Um, this is a couple of shades that overlap. Next up, we have the Metropolis. Um, I mean, you could probably find a handful of shades that are different. But overall, putting these next to each other, you can really see how rosy Soft Glam is. Because this one has a lot of warm tones. And I thought those warm tones would match over. But looking at them now, these are definitely more kind of warm and orangey toned. Whereas these are more kind of rosy undertones, so these two are quite different. So we have three more palettes to compare. Let's start with this one here, which is Mana Tasha Nona Gold. So this is actually a palette that is more different than I originally thought. I thought there would be more overlapping shades, but this one is quite close. This one is definitely a bit more mustardy. Same with the other mattes as well. Um, there's definitely again similar vibes, but not quite. These two are very similar, just different level of like, sparkliness, but yeah, I thought these would be more similar, but there's only a couple of shades that overlap. The next palette I wanted to compare it to was the bronze palette. And again, not a lot of shades overlapping, but the ones that do are definitely very, very similar. I would say the most different here are these two. I'm not really sure if they can even compare as well as these two. I mean, to be fair, this one is very similar. It's just a bit smartly and one dimensional, which makes it look a bit darker when it's out of the light. But yeah, a lot of overlapping shades here again, but similar to a lot of other shades, it's missing the more kind of rosier and cool tone shades. Obviously, because it is the bronze palette, which is very, very warm toned. Then the last palette I wanted to compare is actually quite different. I started swatching them out and a lot of shades are very, very different. The bottom one is the Golden Coconuts palette and the top one is the um, Soft Glam palette. I definitely thought these would be more, more close, but uh, the Golden Coconuts is so much more cool toned. You can see that in the swatches. So this is a bit of a fail. I'm sure that I have other palettes that I didn't swatch that are closer. But I just thought they would be more similar, so I wanted to include them. But that is the last palette I want to compare. And for the final step with the Soft Glam, I'm going to see if I can dupe it out with my singles. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch some singles and see if I can completely dupe it out. So here we have the swatches of all of my shadows. Um, I've gone through in order. So from here down, we have the shades. I need to see if I can remember all the names. So from the top we have a Departed Next Shade, we have Versailles from Sydney Grace, New Digs from Colourpop, Lucky Peach from Sydney Grace, this one is Delivered Freely, again from Sydney Grace, this one here is a Glam Shop shade, um, it's one of the hollow shades, I will put it on screen what it's called because it's in Polish, and this one here is also from Sydney Grace, and that is the shade Chocolate Raspberry Fudge. Moving on to the second row, we have Predictable from Sydney Grace, Arum Regalia from Terra Moons, and this is a, a duochrome, it's really really pretty, and this one is Taffy, again from Sydney Grace. And then from the last ones here we have Frank from Colourpop, Golden Wheat from Sydney Grace, this one is Love and Happiness from Sydney Grace, and then lastly we have Let's Do It from Colourpop, but again any black would work. So I feel like my dupe is very, very close. Um, some of the shades aren't exact, like this one here. I mean, to be f this one is quite similar. It's just more shimmery. This one here is a bit more fun. It is very similar, like straight on, but this one has more of a more pink shift. This one is not exact, but again, more fun. And same with this. I would have had a similar gold if I wanted to, but I wanted to have some more fun with this shadow. Um, and then also with the shimmer here. So I think the shimmers in here are a bit more fun, but that's kind of what I wanted to. But I feel like with this, I've proven that I don't really need the Soft Glam palette anymore in my collection. It is definitely a contender for being pan next year or decluttered at the end of the year. Because, you know, I have these shades over and over in my collection. And this is kind of a palette that I thought that would happen. And I also knew that I would have a lot of comparisons with it because it is such a neutral tone palette. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with my dupe. So let's move on to Subculture. So next palette we're going to go for is, like I said, the Subculture palette, and we have the swatches right here. So yeah, they go from, again, top to bottom, the way they have like the first row right here, and second row right here. So I'm going to 
go through and see what palettes I can compare. So the first comparison is one that I have been wanting to do before because I feel like these palettes are very, very close. And that is with the At Forest Sight palettes from Colourpop. So here are the swatches. Hopefully you can see. We don't have every single shade. We're missing the first two. We have that kind of pink shifting shade and that light, very light transition shade, blending out shade. Those two aren't in the um, At Forest Sight palette. Same with this grey here. But otherwise, they are pretty much... Like, I mean, not the same. They're similar color stores, like for sure. This one here, the gold and the bronze are definitely different. The green shades as well aren't the same. And overall, the Colourpop palette is just way more colorful, whereas this one is more muted. But I feel like I like that. I like the vibrancy. I like that you have more brightness in the colors because I feel like sometimes the Anastasia palette can look a bit more gray on the eyes. And yeah, it's not my favorite. So I like that these have more brightness to them. But again, a lot of overlapping shades, which kind of proves that it, if I were to keep one, I think the Colourpop palette would be the one I would keep. The Colourpop palette is also on my shopping block, actually, but I think out of these two, that's the one I would be most likely to keep. I might just use up my favourite shade from the Colourpop palette first. I have one more Colourpop palette that I wanted to compare. This one is definitely not as similar, but you can see there's a couple overlapping shades, and that is the Through My Eyes palette. Unfortunately, this one has been discontinued. But I just wanted to compare them. I feel like these two here are almost spot on. Same as this one here. This here is definitely more orange. And this is definitely also more orange and also lighter. And then these two are quite similar again. But, you know, not the same. But there's definitely some similar shades in here as well. Um, but yeah, not as similar as the At Forest Side palette. Next up, we have a palette that I definitely thought would be more similar. And that is the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. I thought these two would be very, very similar. As you can see, there's only really a couple shades overlap, and even so, they're not even that similar. Like, this one is way more purple than this one here. The two greens aren't very similar either. These two are pretty much spot on, same as these. And then this one here is definitely lighter. But again, not too many overlapping shades, actually, and I was very surprised by that because I feel like these palettes are very, very similar when I look at them. But yeah, apparently there's more differences than I thought. Next up, we have the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay, and again... This one has a couple shades that are similar, but nothing is really exact. I would say this one, though, has probably the closest one to electric so far. Definitely, again, not the same, but they are more similar than some of the other comparisons. But yeah, this is another palette that I thought would be more similar, but there's definitely loads of different undertones. So yeah, not, not the most similar palettes. But I'm still happy I swatched them out next to each other. So another palette I wanted to compare, which I knew would only cover some parts of this palette, is the Natasha Nona Sunrise palette. And it's mainly because I wanted to see how close all of the kind of lighter, uh, peachier, yellowy tones are. And some of them are quite similar, like these two here are very similar. I mean, the bronzes are kind of similar as well. Um, but the yellows, again, have very, very different undertones. And um, same with this one here. I just washed them next to each other. Um, it's this one shade here compared to the light shade in the subculture palette. But yeah, I mean, some of these, like these two here, are very, very similar. So I'm glad I have a dupe for that if I do use up this shade because it is one of my favorites. So is this one too, to be fair? But I don't really feel like I have a dupe of that in this palette. So the last palette I want to compare is this one here, which is the Mountain Trail palette from Sydney Grace. Again, this is another one that I knew would only cover parts of the palette, um, kind of like the green tones and the mustardy tones, I guess. Um, again, not everything is super similar. These two here are definitely different. This is a satin and it's more green. Um, and also like this here, it's not quite the same, but you know, similar. So yeah, I just want to compare a couple of shades and although not exactly the same, it's just nice to know that I have more of these greens in my collection. So here we have my dupe and these are the swatches of the two palettes. Um, as you can see, I did a pretty good job. A lot of shades are very, very similar. There's a few things that differ slightly. So up here we have more like, this is a very, very similar shade, but this is way more impactful. This is from Cleona. And then this one here is definitely like a bit deeper and a bit more warm tone than this shade here, but again, very similar. I would say that these here are almost spot on. This one is a little bit lighter than this one, but otherwise, mostly spot on. Uh, this one is slightly less purpley leaning than this one here, but again, very close. These two here, um, I didn't really have anything exactly like Axis. Axis has a little bit more green to it than this one here, um, but again, similar vibes. And I would say the rest of the palettes are very similar. The only thing is the last shade, Rowdy, I didn't really have an exact dupe for again. So I included a black. It's actually the same black from the last palette. So let me go through each shade in order. So we have Aura from Cleona. This one is Ali from Sydney Grace. Here we have Ivy League from Sydney Grace. And I think this one is Boozy from Colourpop. Then here we have three more Sydney Grace shades. This one is Predictable. We have 
legendary and lastly has hashtag it's a boy here we have certain rare's footprint we have the pastel roses autumn leaves this is Mom Ride from Sydney Grace, and this is a Lipotter shade from the Tri Palette from Juvia's Place. Here we have Bravo from Sydney Grace. This one here is the shade Haystack from Sydney Grace. And then lastly, we have the black, which is Let's Do It from Colourpop. So those are the swatches. And again, I feel like I did a pretty good job duping this out. I honestly feel like, again, I don't really need this palette in my collection, judging from what I have dupes of, especially with the At For Sight, as well as this kind of singles and dupe palette. Um, I feel like I have this palette over and over in my collection. This is a palette that I probably would want to use up a couple of shades before I declutter it, though. Like, I would want to probably use up my favorite shade, which would be Roxy, Electric, Dawn. I like Fudge, but it's a brown, so I don't know if I would finish that. Then we have New Wave and Edge. So those are the shades that I would finish, so that's like at least five. Um, but yeah, we will see how it goes. But that is it for this tube. And I really hope you enjoyed this video concept. I will do more of these in the future. And I might do like, you know, two and two again moving forward. We'll see how it goes. Just comparing depends on how many comparisons I have. But yeah, let me know what you think of this video. And if you want to see more installments of this series. And I hope you're, and I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.